What's the benefit of driving a Land Rover Defender? Well, before I get into that, let me explain what this is because I get the question all the time, what is it exactly? This is a classic 1997 Land Rover Defender that's been fully restored. It was originally built in the UK, but we just rebuilt it again. So now let's get into the benefits. Benefit number one is knowing that you're driving something that's going to continue to go up in value. If you watch the market, if you're watching the prices and the auctions, you'll see that they're continuing to go up in value and they're simply not making anymore. The company went out of business in 2016 and they just don't make a vehicle like this anymore. The number two reason to own a classic Land Rover Defender is because it makes people smile. It makes people happy. Everywhere I go, when I stop at a gas station or wherever I stop, I have complete strangers come up and want to talk to me and tell me a story about their uncle, aunt, cousin, somebody in their life that had a Jeep. And I have to point out it's a Land Rover, but they're just, they just appreciate it and they want to tell me their story. So meeting new people and interesting new people is reason number two. Number three, it allows you to get away from distractions. I'm not saying it doesn't have Apple CarPlay, it definitely does, but it's not as full, it's not full of gadgets like the modern new car right now. And it's really, it's a driver's car. You're able to get into it and you feel the road. You're able to shift the gears. You're able to be in the moment, enjoy the moment, and it, it's something magical about a Defender that allows you, when I say get away from the distractions, it makes you feel different. And I really don't know how to explain it other than when you're driving down the road and you see a gravel road or a dirt trail, you're able to turn up that trail and just go explore. It's just a great way to, well, get away from distractions, relieve some stress, and just think about things. That's what I use it for. I consider it to be a driver's car. Number four, well, back to the simplicity. It's a very simple vehicle. It's a turbo diesel and it does not have a computer. So no computer, no tune-ups. All you have to do is change the oil every 3,500 miles, change the fuel filter every 10,000 miles and just enjoy it. I know, I know. Land Rover has a black cloud that they're not, they're not reliable and all that, but that was later in Land Rover's life when they started using computers in the Range Rover and the Land Rover Discovery. So again, simplicity, that's one of the reasons. And reason number five, which I think a lot of my clients choose it for this reason, is it's something different than a Mercedes G-Wagon, but it's also the type of vehicle that people, and, and you know, People are gonna be people, but some people think that you're frivolous when you're driving a Mercedes G-Wagon or you're trying to brag or you're trying to show off. But when you're in a Land Rover Defender, they don't really know the price, but that they do know is it makes them smile and it's the type of vehicle that they grew up watching on TV and the safari shows and it makes all ages, all sexes, I mean, men, women, boys, grandmothers, grandfathers, it makes everybody smile and it just makes them think, wow, you're really cool. I, I know, it sounds weird, but they wanna talk to you about it and it, it just says a lot about your personality, that you like to explore, that you're an adventurer. And in my opinion, it's probably one of the coolest cars ever that I can't think of any drawbacks of why you shouldn't own one.